Hello everybody, this is Kianda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. Smart thermostats are becoming a staple in homes. They can lower your utility bills, keep your home comfortable and save on energy usage. So they can help us to approach green world. In this tutorial, we learn how to build a simple smart thermostat, either single point or dual point using ESP32 development board integrated with Home Assistant. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a smart Fankwell thermostat to control a four pipe Fankwell with three speeds. What we need is ESP32 development board integrated with Home Assistant. If you do not know how to integrate these two devices, watch this tutorial. Let's dive to the programming. Okay, in order to program our board in Home Assistant UI, on the left panel, I navigate to Supervisor, then select ESP Home. In this page, I click on Open Web UI. ESP32, as you see, is my YAM file of my ESP32. This file is appeared after integrating the board with Home Assistant. By clicking on Edit, the file opens. You can edit the file and install the edited file on your board. At the bottom of the file, I paste the codes related to Fankwell thermostat. You can find the codes in description. Let's go through the lines. These highlighted lines are related to temperature sensor. Building a thermostat, we need a temperature sensor measuring a value, the air temperature. And the controller will try to keep this value within a range defined by the set points. So the controller can activate heating or cooling. These highlighted sections are related to defining fan. The fan has three speeds. I named it fan. This output section is related to controlling the fan speed. Switches. We have six switches. Three of them, which are interlocked, are related to a speeds of fan, these highlighted lines. One of them is related to controlling heating valve, the other is related to controlling cooling valve. This one is related to NTC sensor. There is a separate video about measuring temperature. You can watch it on the top right corner of this video. A constant voltage supply to NTC sensor causes it to heat up and therefore creates unreliable temperature values. So it's recommended to only supply the NTC sensor during the actual measurement. To do this, we don't supply voltage divider with 3.3 volt instead we use a GPIO pin. This GPIO pin will be switched high only during the measurement. So, preventing the sensor from heating up. In this example, I used a pin 32 and connected to the top side of the voltage divider. And this is the interval time. In this video, I set the interval to 30 seconds. It's low. You should, or let's say it's better to set it more. For example, 60 seconds. These highlighted sections are related to defining thermostat. As you see, it is climate. Platform is thermostat. This is the minimum temperature the climate device can reach used to set the range of the fronted gauge. This is the maximum temperature the climate device can reach, used to set the range of the fronted gauge. This defines the granularity with which the target temperature can be controlled. This is the name of our thermostat. You can set it to whatever you want, and also these items can be set to your needed values. 
Here we define or relate our temperature sensor to the climate device. Temperature 1 is the idea of NTC sensor. Default target temperature low for the control algorithm. This can be dynamically set in the front end later. We have the same setting for default target temperature high. At least one of these two must be specified. As our thermostat is dual point, we have cooling, heating, and fan. These are the times related to acting thermostat. You can find out about them in ESP webpage. You can find the link in description. By adding these lines, we add a way mode to our thermostat. If you do not need it, you can delete these lines. Cool action is related to what happened when thermostat mode is changed to cooling. I said the cooler pin is turned to on and the fan turns on. We have the same thing for heat action. Heat action means what happened when thermostat mode is changed to heating. Idle action, we define what happens in idle action. We define fan mode action. What happens in fan mode action if we activate it? This is fan only action. What happens when we activate or set the thermostat mode to fan only action? These lines are related to controlling a speed of fan in thermostats. Okay, after pasting the code in the YAM file, I click on install, select wirelessly. Wait till the edited file is installed on the board. installation is completed I click on stop let's configure our integration I select configuration on the left panel in home assistant then select integrations find ESP32 click on it click on three dots delete it okay I add the integration one more time by clicking on add integration searching ESP home, clicking it, and entering the IP address of my development board. Submit. Finish. ESP32 is integrated with Home Assistant. Here we have fan, temperature sensor, and thermostat. I click on overview, click on three dots on the top right corner of the screen, Select Edit Dashboard, then click on Add Card to add the thermostat. Among the cards, I find thermostat, select it. From the drop-down list of entity, I select the thermostat. Save. Let's bring it to top. This is our thermostat, as you see, working with it is easy. It has fan only mode, cooling mode, heating mode, and dual mode. Let's go to the board. I use LEDs to indicate three speeds of fan, speed one, speed two, and speed three, and two valves heating valve cooling valve i set the thermostat mode to heating you can change the set point easily we have the status of thermostat here by clicking on three dots on the top right corner of the thermostat UI we have this page we can change or set the thermostat here 
operation we have heat cool fan only heat and cool off present we have home and away fan mode we have on off low medium high I set the fan mode to high you see this LED indicating that fan is in higher speed in order to use this thermostat and connect it to fan quill you should use relays to connect the outputs to fan quill there is a separate video in my channel you can watch it on the top right corner of the screen this video is related to how to use outputs of ESP boards so here we have a smart fan quill thermostat we can set it to heating cooling fan only mode or dual mode also it has a way option and you can set the desired value in automations and enjoy benefits of a smart thermostat as you see here we have environment temperature 31 the minimum set point and the maximum set point and we can change them easily thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already you can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.